Hello brothers and sisters. What I'm about ready to discuss in this video uh, is revealing how even in the Protestant or so-called Protestant churches, heresy is being taught. And not only is heresy being taught, which aligns the, uh, itself with the New Age movement, um, but ecumenism and adhering to the Vatican slash papacy. There's been a huge movement ever since Rick Warren, uh, Kenneth Copeland, and others towards making a oneness or a union with the Pope of Rome or with the Roman Catholic Church, namely the Vatican, the whore of Revelation 17. This is part of Satan's end time deception. It says in Revelation that Satan is uh, successful at this one thing. He manages to deceive the whole world. Who does he not deceive? The scripture states that the only ones that Satan does not deceive are those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life from before the foundation of the world. If your name is written in Jesus' Book of Life, you will not be deceived by these false prophets, false teachers, this ecumenical movement, this ecumenical emerging church that unites itself with Rome. If you have the discernment of the Holy Spirit, which I pray you do, you will recognize a wrong spirit, a, a spirit that is preaching another Jesus, another gospel. Any man, preacher, or denomination that unites itself with the whore of Revelation 17 is not speaking by the Spirit of Christ. I want to play a video for you um, and show you how prevalent actually this this movement is in the protestant church uniting these pastors are trying to unite in these last days um, the protestant church with the vatican and going um uh, and going all the way with the pope of rome and uniting over this unity that they want and i want to um, bring a preacher to your attention named todd white i don't know if you're familiar with him or not but this preacher named todd white says he's calling for union with the Pope. Now, again, I liken him to a Rick Warren or a Kenneth Copeland. In this video that I'm about to show you, and I'm gonna show you this video, but I also wanna to read to you an excerpt from this article that is coming from News That Matters, exposing fake and falsehood. Let me see if you can see that. There's a lot of a glare right now, and I don't think you can see that, but it is, um, it's called News That Matters, Exposing Fake and Falsehood. It says, Todd White calls for union with the Pope. Todd White is one of the most popular preachers in the Word of Faith movement. In this video, he prays with a Roman Catholic priest, just like one of the Kansas City prophets have taught him. Together, they walk into union with the Pope of Rome and face stern judgment one day for their apostasy. Now, in the video that I'm about to show you, uh, Todd White is uniting with the Catholic Church, preaching that the Holy Spirit's um, blessing and outpouring is meant for the Vatican and the papacy in Rome and Roman Catholic doctrine. And I've gone over this with you in previous videos, how Roman Catholic doctrine, uh, catechism, etc., totally violates the Word of God. They, the Word of God and the Catechism and Roman Catholic slash Vatican doctrine are not compatible. We stand on the Word of God alone. But according to this man, Todd White, we're all one and the same. Isn't this the ecumenical movement that the Pope of Rome has been preaching? And he's bringing on board all these ecumenical Protestant preachers as well. This is the end time deception that Satan is successful with, and the only ones who will not be deceived are those whose names are written in Jesus' book of life. So Todd White, in this video, I hope that it'll come through for you. If you can't see it too well on my phone, hopefully you can hear what's going on. In this video, ending this video, Todd White also denies the deity of Jesus. He flat out verbally states, Jesus was born of a virgin, but he is not God. <laughs> So I wanted you to hear this for yourself. Uh, those of you who know this channel know that I have always lifted Jesus up as the creator, God, the great I am of the universe. Isaiah nine, in Isaiah 9, it says, 
that the son to be born, the child to be given of this virgin, would be called the mighty God, the everlasting Father. When Jesus appeared before the disciples after he was raised from the dead, when he said, I have the power to lay my life down, no one takes my life from me, and I have the power to take it up again. Only God could do that. And when he stands before the disciples at his resurrection, Thomas falls at Jesus' feet and says, my Lord and my God. Jesus certainly doesn't tell him to stand up and not call him that. There are countless scriptures that show the deity of Christ, that he is God come in the flesh. Jesus claimed this when he told the priests of his day, before Abraham was, I am. Now, I want to play this video for you, and I have the volume turned all the way up. So in this video, this so-called preacher, quote-unquote, Todd White, is in alignment with the papacy in Rome for the ecumenical movement, which is obvious in what you're about to hear, as well as his denying that Jesus is God. And this is... What this channel is all about is exposing these false prophets, exposing false doctrine, and trying to plant seeds and get the word out of the lie of Satan that is coming to pass um, in these last days in our time. Let me see if this will come through for you. Hopefully it will. Let's see here. I don't think I can get my phone to widen this view, but all right. Let me see. Maybe I can. I'm not the most uh, tech-savvy person in the world. I, I try. <laughs> Here we go. Let me see if this comes through. Maybe you can hear it if you can't see it. Let me see here. In this video, he teaches apostasy. Jesus is born of 
the Virgin Mary. Listen to this. Is, he is born as a man. He's not born as God. He's God's son, but he had. Now, I want to stop there. Notice in the beginning of this video that this man, Todd White, he states that there's going to be a union of the Christians with the Catholic Church. Did you notice the differentiation there? He said, Lord, I believe that there will be a union of the Christian church with the Catholic Church. There are many out there that will tell you that to be Catholic does not mean you're Christian. Okay, and I've heard many people say that. Uh, I found it very interesting that this man, uh, out of his own mouth, differentiates between a born-again Christian and the Catholic Church or the Catholic faith. Remember, play that back again. What did he say? I believe in a union with the Christian church or the born-again Christians with the Catholic church. At the end of this video, he plainly states out of his mouth, denying that Jesus Christ is the Lord God Almighty, the creator of the universe. All things came to be through Jesus Christ. It is through him that the universe was made. It is by his powerful word that he sustains all things, including every galaxy, every star, every molecule, every quark. <laughs> I mean, you name it. He holds it all together by his powerful word, and only God can do that. All through scripture, from Genesis to Revelation, it is revealing the deity of Jesus. It is revealing that God himself chose to come in the flesh so we could see, touch, and feel him on a human level. When Jesus comes back to the Mount of Olives, Zechariah said, in Zechariah chapter 14, what did he say? The Lord my God shall come. Zechariah certainly didn't call Jesus just a man or a prophet. He saw the return of Christ to the Mount of Olives, and he said, the Lord my God shall come. Thomas said, my Lord and my God. Isaiah says, the child to be born is the mighty God, the everlasting father. Jesus said before Abraham was, I am. On and on and on the scriptures declare. The book of Micah declares that Jesus is God. It says the child's goings are from eternity. I wanted to show you this because more and more and more there are Protestant pastors who seem to people to start off on the right foot. Kenneth Copeland, Rick Warren, they, they seem to be walking biblically. But now I'm trying to sound the warning. I'm trying to be like a watchman on the wall telling my Protestant listeners, do not be fooled by these people. Do not be fooled by these preachers. They're aligning themselves with the horror of Revelation 17. That are propagating this ecumenical movement. Uh, that are declaring that Jesus is not God. And then you've got the other end of the spectrum, the New Age movement and paganism moving into Catholicism and even into some Protestant churches, uh, declaring the New Age statement that man is a God, a God. So you've, you've got all kinds of confusing doctrines out there. Satan is successful with the whole world with these deceptions, especially with this one that I just showed you today. And all the other pastors like him, Kenneth Copeland, Rick Warren, and I could go on and on. The only ones that will not fall prey to this deception are those that Jesus chose in him from before the foundation of the world. If your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, if you are sealed with the Holy Spirit of God. You will not walk in darkness, Jesus said, but have the light of life. If you are his, he will not let you be deceived. As a matter of fact, the scriptures tell us, uh, expose the deeds of darkness. And that's what this channel is all about. So for those of you who are not familiar with Todd White, uh, I hope this was eye-opening. Uh, if you are familiar, I hope that this gets you to think and really use discernment in the spirit over who you're listening to on television and radio. God bless you. Thank you for listening today.